Alright guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to see how to put a bonded or fixed retainer um, in the lower arch on a patient. And the first thing we do is slightly polish your teeth with a, a fine round diamond burr. And number one is going to make sure the lingual surface is nice and clean. But also, it's going to roughen the surface a little bit so we get a better bond. Um, with our composite to the tooth. So again, I'm lightly going over lingual surfaces with a fine round uh, diamond burr. Just like that. Now we're going to measure the chain and I can't claim to take credit for this. I did pick up this little pearl from uh, I think it was Neil, uh, Dr. Neil Kravitz who wrote this article along with maybe another individual, but we measure the chain from half of one canine to the contact of the other lateral canine, we snip it, and that will give us exactly the right length. Alright, now we're going to etch the surface. You see we don't have any uh, crazy isolation here, really all that's needed is the cotton roll. As long as the patient can keep his thumb back like my friend is doing right here, it's real easy. Yep. Exactly. You know, younger kids or patients who are less cooperative, you might need to use uh, you know, more kind of types of retraction, but this is fine for the average patient. So we have the edge arm, we'll leave that for about 30 seconds. So that was just regular 37% phosphoric acid etch, liquid version. And I'm going to use this down at my watch a little bit as we're doing this. And then once we rinse this off, we're going to air dry. So here comes the water now. Get a new cotton roll. favorite little instruments here is a tooth dryer. Sometimes you have moisture in your air water line and any moisture can obviously really affect your bond strength. So we'll tooth dryer it's like a little hair dryer. And what we're gonna do now is paint on a layer of a short primer. And the reason we do this is because the short tends to have one of the strongest bond strengths in the industry bonding industry. We really want to establish that strong bond from the enamel to the, to the uh, material. And we'll give it a quick cure. And being this is just the primer layer, we don't have to really over cure, but this is a three second light anyway, which is nice and quick. Now we're going to take some light bond sealant. And the idea with this is light bond sealant is a little bit thicker, more viscous. It'll tend to hold my wire in the position I want without having to put any composite here yet. That. Now we're going to actually take the chain, which is uh, use a Reliance stainless steel flex tech chain. And you can see right here, we actually dip it in the light bond also. We'll actually hold it where we need it. Let me explore, please. And if you catch any little twists or turns in here, after you've actually cut it and put it on, it's pretty simple just to kind of press on it with an instrument. You can kind of contour it if you need to in a certain area, which I did for that canine right there. And we want to have it go through pretty much the contact point. And again, this is just to pack it down. 
So now this won't move as we're applying our composite to the rest of uh, the chain to really hold it in place. So again, just a quick cure. The sealant's going to pull that down now. And now we're going to use our flotane sealant, or I'm sorry, our flotane composite here. And we're just going to apply that over the wire. So I like to put a thin yet thick area of composite right in the middle of each tooth. I typically don't cover the entire lingual surface. And then we go back and check. We do remove any excess, make sure we have a nice amount in each area. And that's it. So we're going to cure this one more time. And I'll give three, three full seconds per each tooth. Good measure because it can't hurt to do more, but that's pretty much it. Open up a little big for me, get a little closer, zoom in a little bit there for me, and there's our fixed retainer. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. See you next time in the next video.